Hi, in this video we're going to uh, cover the Spring Rotation Planner in Patch Base Ireland. A few small points before I start on the Spring Rotation Planner. Uh, this icon up on the top left, if you click on that, it just makes a little bit more space visible on the screen. You can click on it to bring it back. Uh, if I click on this on the top right, it also makes uh, more space available for reports and data entry, so it's worth being aware of both of those functions. If I let my mouse come down here, it'll tell me which area I'm in as well. So this is the one we want, Spring Rotation Planner. So I click on that, and what it's going to show me now is uh, there's already a Spring Rotation Planner available, but I'm going to start a new one. So I click on Add New Spring Rotation Planner on the top right. And it'll ask me to give a title. I have one called Spring Rotation Plan 2017 already, so um, I'll put a new name on this one. This is the area of land that I have available, but I can click on this one here, and this shows me all the paddocks in the system. And if you're doing a spring rotation planner, and for example, let's say you have a few paddocks beside a lake or a river that's flooded during the spring period, you might want to exclude those paddocks. So that takes those paddock area out, so you have less area. Let's go back in here and just put them back in again. So it's just a way of counting up the area that's likely to be in the spring plan. Um, the creation of a spring plan is very, very straightforward. You just say, when am I putting the stock out? And when, what is the start date of the second round? And the start date of the second round is going to be in early April. So uh, dry farms in the south of Ireland, it could be more on the 5th. Um, as you go more north, or maybe one wetter land, it might be on the 10th. So let's just go with the, uh, the 5th of April. Um, you don't have to put notes in here. Um, but you can if you want. I just put in PBI video. Um, you can leave that blank, you don't need to put something in there. So I'm going to create this plan and let's see what it looks like and what does it do for you. So the plan is being created there at the moment and now we're in on the plan report here. So uh, this, as you go through the year, will be the, as you go through the spring, this graph will change. You can see at the moment we have a green line which is our target line and then on the bottom we have the or sorry, we have the red line is the target line and we have the green line which is, which is actuals. As you move through the springtime and as you graze out paddocks the green line will start moving up along the red line. Uh, something to be aware of on the right hand side you can't see the data now but uh, we have average farm cover on the right hand side so as you do covers during the spring you will see that on the left hand side you have a cover up here, there's one cover point there and then as you come down through the spring you'll see the cover dropping down. So you'll see the grazing going up and the amount of land grazing will go up and the amount of average farm cover will come down. So uh, measuring doing farm covers during the spring has a reward in this screen because you see you can see this curve changing. The, as I come down, this is where these are the key figures I've typed in on the previous screen. I can come in here, I can change those if I have to, if I want to tweak the plan. Uh, this, this grid here, this is the key outcome from a spring rotation planner. Uh, we said we want to go out on the 1st of February. And if we go out on the 1st of February, the only thing that has to be achieved is I must graze 0.16 hectares per day. That's all we have to do. It's an, it's an area-based target. Everything else is irrelevant. If you can get out and do 0.16, get the stock back in in the first week of February, that's perfectly, uh, that's what really all that has to be achieved. And in this particular farm of this particular size, going out on the 1st of February and doing the start of the second round on the 5th of uh, April, uh, at the end of the first week of February, the target is to have a little over one hectare grazed. So it's not much to graze, but the huge advantage of doing that is that um, that's the first paddock that will be grazed in the second week of April. And it does have a big impact in terms of the quality sward that you'll be facing right throughout the second ro rotation. The Further down here, I have just extra graphs. It shows you how the rotation length speeds up as you go through the spring. And um, the other thing is it shows you the area per day that has to be grazed as you go through the spring as well. So effectively, you're going out at a slow pace and you're speeding up as you go, as you go through the February and March. Um, up on the top right here, you can see you can export to Excel, you can export to a PDF and print it off. Uh, I'm using Google Chrome here. If I click on export to PDF, notice the way different browsers will work differently, but notice the way that, the, that PDF report is down here on the bottom left. 
see where my mouse is. So if I click here and say I want to open this report. So effectively, we have a printout which you can use for your discussion group or with your farm advisor or consultant. Um, that's the way to get a hard copy. If I can click on the tab up in the top here and I'm back into the Patch Base Ireland interface. Uh, if I click on Close Plan, this will go back to my previous screen and you can see when I started here I had one plan, now I have two plans. Uh, let's do a, a, um, a third spring rotation plan. So I come in here and I'll say that this is plan number three for 2017. I'll leave my same hectares. This time I'll say, look, um, can't get out on, I'm actually doing this video on the 24th of February. So let's say I have no stock out on the 24th, but I'm going to put stock out today. So I'm going to click the 24th and then I come over here and I say, um, if I'm going out late, I'm going to have to really finish the rotation length a little bit later. So let's pick the 10th. If you're not really sure what start of second round to use, you, know, you can maybe discuss that with your advisor or with your discussion group to see what's relevant on your farm and your area, and depending on your, your start of grazing date as well. So I'm going to click on the 10th, and I'm going to click on Save. Effectively, this is going to give me a different plan based on me on putting stock out on the 24th of February rather than on the 1st of February. And you'll see the effect further down is that when I come down to this table, if I'm going to start grazing on the 24th of February, obviously I have to graze more land straight away. So at the end of the first week of February, I, I'm aiming for 1.7 hectares, roughly. So I think that's enough to cover. If I want to get back to my main menu, I can click on that and then I can go and do some other function in Patch Piss Ireland. So we leave that video now. Remember that in the Help Centre there will be other documents um, uh, relating to the Spring Rotation Planner. If I just get back to this screen here, uh, note there's a help menu here on top left. And if I click there, I'll get some other documents on how to create a Spring Rotation Planner and following the Spring Rotation Planner. Spring, spring Rotation Planner is a very, very useful tool. It's very, very simple to create. Um, and it's very, very well worthwhile um, doing a Spring Rotation Planner every single spring.